Yo guys, what are you saying? Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm not in the gym. I'm not doing a sit down video. I'm not doing a video, my friends. Today is a fitness plan video. Basically, for beginners, um, how to make your own fitness plan, pretty much. Instead of going to buy it from other people, not everyone has the funds for that. So I thought I'll put something very general, very basic. I'll try my best to condense everything on here. Um, I'm not an expert, obviously. However, I'm just, from the knowledge I have, um, I just was able to put something together for beginners. This is for beginners. However, if you're an intermediate or whatever level of fitness you are, you can still, you can still benefit from this anyways. So let's start by, like any, any fitness program will vary by your age, your goal and your, your fitness level and your lifestyle. Like in terms of your, you know, your work, whatever you want to achieve in your age, you get it, you get it. I don't need to go into it. And also to achieve any of your targets, you need to, you need to be consistent. Consistency is key. And also making a plan is also a long-term commitment and you have to be disciplined. Although you have to be motivated, but after the motivation, motivation never, it never like last. It's, it's just something to get you started, um, something to get you going. However, you have to be disciplined for you to keep going. Like during the bad times when you don't feel motivated, you've got to be disciplined. You have to stick to your plan. Well, even when you're not seeing results, you have to be disciplined and stick to your plan. That's when you start seeing results. And also your target or your plan, whatever, should be specific and realistic. So this is like, some acronym I learned from GCSEs, which is um, SMART targets, which is your whatever your goal is has to be specific. It has to be measurable. It has to be achievable. It has to be realistic and it has to be time bound. So to make a plan, there's three questions you need to ask yourself. How many days in a week can you literally dedicate to working out? What time of day is suitable for you? How long a workout should be? Not everyone has the time to go to the gym for two hours, for three hours or whatever. The fact that people spend longer in the gym, that's not mean that their, um, their results is going to be better or it's going to be quicker or it's going to, it's going to be anything. Someone can spend an hour or an hour and a half. Someone can go to the gym and spend 40 minutes. It's all about how good the workout is, how effective it is. So. Someone can spend two hours, if their workout's not effective, and you go spend 40, hour, 40 minutes, you are probably gonna end up having the better results as far as your workout is, is effective. Um, so yeah, I would say these questions, ask yourself these questions, write it down, and there's no better, like there's no specific or better time of the day that is better for working out. You can choose to go in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, whatever is like your best suits you because you know everyone has a life so now moving on to the gym plan um your goal you have to be specific do you want to increase your strength do you want to um, increase your muscle hypertrophy fat you need to do you want to lose fat or do you want to improve your endurance do you have to be specific in what you actually want to gain you get me so um how often to work out um, I haven't really got a qu I haven't really got questions about this a lot, but as I said, this plan is for beginners. I would advise three times a week, depending on the type of split you're doing. The split I'm going to show you is going to be well, as I said, three times a week, and then the extra two days you do cardio and core, and the other extra two days <laughs> that obviously is going to be your rest days. So yeah, um, these are the main muscle groups, obviously, most people, everyone, everyone targets, which is your chest, your bicep, your back, legs, your shoulders, and your triceps. Also, muscle hypertrophy is basically increasing muscle. It's basically your muscle scale. You know? it's, it's, it looks like a big term word, but it basically means, it simply means like your muscles getting bigger. That's what hypertrophy means. And um, also, to target your, whatever your goal is, how many sets and reps do you want to target? So if you're focusing on strength, you are mostly focusing between one to two, one to five reps. 
and obviously you go in heavy, you can't just take 10 kg and go, if you're doing bicycle, you can't just take 10 kg and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then you just, you have to go heavy, not too heavy to hurt yourself, but you have to go heavy to the point that you are targeting between 1 to 5, and that's what you can do, you can't do any more than that. Um, and also, you're fo if you're focusing on muscle hypertrophy, you want to be focusing between this 6 to 12 rep range. So it's not like, like what I'm trying to say is um, you need to adjust the weight depending on what you're focusing on. If you're focusing on endurance, I would say from 16, um, from 15 or 16 plus reps if you're focusing on endurance. So basically for endurance is basically, um, let's say you've got your muscle mass now, is you want to shred up. That's what you want to focus on, mass um, endurance and getting more reps in. Obviously, if you're doing that, you go a little bit lower to get those reps in. Um, normally, what I personally do sometimes, I don't, it's maybe once in a while, then I will probably target 20 reps, but mostly I start from around 15 or sometimes maybe 18 with lower weights, obviously, and work my way down. And as I go, the weights get heavier. So technically, you're focusing on strength, you're focusing on muscle hypertrophy, and you're also focusing on endurance. So that's what, that's what I sometimes do. I don't do this all the time, but I just sometimes do it. But most of the, at the moment, what I'm doing, obviously gyms are closed now, but what I'm doing um, is uh, muscle hypertrophy and strength at the same time. So I kind of like, mix my plan a little bit depending on the day depending on what i really want to um, target so if you focus on strength i'm just trying to teach you a little bit of science behind it you don't really need to know this as far as if you're focusing on strength what you're doing is your um you're increasing my, your myofibril hypertrophy don't worry about the big terms don't worry about it i'm a med i am a biomedical science student that's how i know this but this technically means that your muscles are um, basically getting more muscle fibers. That's all. You're getting more muscle fibers. And for if you focus on the endurance, is that your sacroplasmic hypertrophy. That's what you're doing. Um, which simply means that your um, you're getting your muscles are literally just getting thicker. They're getting bigger. That's it's very simple. So for strength, you don't really need to know this, but I just, I just thought I'd put some science behind it just to, you know, integrate your intelligence. I don't know, I don't know what I means, but I just said it. <laughs> but yeah, if you focus on the strength, that's what you're doing. Your muscles, you're getting more muscle fibers, which, don't forget, just don't worry about these big words, all right? Let's just move on. Now, where can I'm um, focusing on the planets? Where can I'm um, focusing on health? So basically, workout split. What, what, how do you, there are a lot of people want to go to the gym. They don't have any knowledge or they have little knowledge, but they find it hard to put a workout together. This is a very simplified version. And I'm not telling you to do this. What I'm, saying, I'm just trying to show you an example of something that you can do. Obviously, making a gym plan is, is very complicated. There's a lot that goes into it. Depending, it has to be specific to you. If you might have, you might have some type of injury, and you know it's just there's a lot of factors. That's why I'm just I just want to show you an example, and then you can make your own plan. This is very simplified. I try to make this as simple as I can. So let's say a workout split. So for Monday, let's say you're doing legs and shoulders. Now, before I even go into this, there's a split called the bro split, which is basically focusing on focusing on one muscle group. Really? Which is basically focusing on one muscle group a day. So let's say Monday you're doing chest, Tuesday you're doing tricep. No, no. If you want me to make a video about why the bro split is not good, let me know in the comments below. However, I would say legs and shoulders on Monday. I'm not telling you to do this, I'm just trying to show you an example of the type of exercises you will be doing. So for Monday for legs, you probably want to be starting with your squats, um, deadlift, three sets of 10 to 15 reps, whatever you want to target. And as I said again, it depends 
on what your goal is. If you want to increase your strength, if you want to get bigger. And also, um, one of the exercises, you want to be targeting around, depending on how much time you've got for the gym, you want to at least be, tar uh, be targeting around three to four exercises per muscle group. So for legs, you've got leg extension, obviously, three sets of 10 to 15 reps. You can target any of them. As I said, this is just general. So you can change this if you want to. And leg curls. Um, also, just in case you don't know any of these, if you're a beginner, you don't know any of these, I'll suggest you to get a fitness app that um, you can basically go in there and find all the exercises made. Um, you've got leg curls, you've got calf raises. I hate this exercise, I hate it so much. I don't really do it a lot, but you know, I have to, but I don't, I don't like it, but you have to do it. And also, since you're doing shoulders, you want to be doing shoulder press seated with dumbbells, obviously, and front raises. Um, you want to be doing front raises. I just put like just two, two shoulder workouts because I don't know. I don't have space. But there's, there's a lot of exercise. I'm not saying these are the exercises you could do, but there's there's a lot. That's literally a lot of exercises that you can do. Tuesday, you've got cardio ups. And so it's kind of a bit of a rest day at the, at the minute, or whatever you want to call it. But Tuesday, maybe cardio ups. Um, just go on a bike, go for a run, um, jump on your girlfriend, you know, Whatever you want to do <laughs> to get your to get your cardio, just do it. Um, on Wednesday, back and biceps, um, cable roll. So basically pulling. You'll be seated for this. So you basically pulling the. Um, you basically pulling it horizontally, and lats pull. You pulling it vertically. Um, as I said, if you don't know any of this, go search it up. And then dumbbell roll or barbell roll. You'll, Probably you're basically in a position like that. You're bringing it vertically at the same time. You're adding a bit of an angle to it. You bring it vertically, but you're bringing it up here, so you're adding an angle to it. Um, for biceps, you've got bicep curls. Um, you've got hammer curls. Basically, there's there's a lot of exercises. There's a lot of exercises you could do. But whatever, as I said. This is just an example of what you could do. And obviously, three sets of 10 to 15 reps if you want. Um, you can change the amount of reps, but I would really advise you to be doing three sets. Thursday, cardio abs again. As I said, jump on your boyfriend, jump on your girlfriend, whatever you want to do, do it. <laughs> and now, on Friday, chest, triceps, push-ups, no. If you're a beginner, push-ups is probably going to be hard for you. So you can do this with breaks as well. You can do, if you can do 10, do 10, take 15 seconds break, move on to the next, take break. You can do it with breaks. But then as you go on, like a month into it, a couple of months into it, you should be banging out fairly like it's nothing. Um, dumbbell chest press, three sets to 10 to 15. As I said, as most beginners, what they want to do is that they want to get bigger so that's why that's why this is very general that's why i put 10 to 15 reps however if you want to focus on strength as well you could do 10 to 15 reps for three sets and then you can add another set to it go a little bit heavy and then focus one to five reps obviously but go a little bit heavy for that and then dumbbell flyers three to ten you know it's just tricep extension um, for your triceps. Again, if you don't know these exercises, go search it up. Um, dips, dips are very good. Most people do it with a seat do seated dips. Is that right? Yeah, do seated dips that targets most of your your triceps and maybe off your chest. But when you use the, how do you use that that machine? What did you call it? Machine. Yeah, you know the, the what, one the you thing do, the bar. do dips on it. Yeah, the bar. No. Yeah, basically you if you do it with a bar, if you're like free hanging and there's, there's different, if you're doing it straight, you're targeting your triceps but if you lean a little bit forward, you're targeting your triceps and you're targeting your chest as well so dips are very good um, tricep kickbacks, one of my favourite exercises to do so basically, 
holding a dumbbell here or whatever you want to hold and then just extend your tricep or just keep your tricep back and then squeeze it when you get on the top. One of my favorite exercises, it, it really does help your tricep. Now, I've gone through, the, it seems like I've gone through a lot, but if you really like make your own plan, it's not a lot. Literally, it's not a lot. Like, anyone can do this. Instead of spending money, like I know some people go college, some people go uni. You know, not everyone has the money to be spending on flipping gym plans that, you know, people made that's probably not gonna work for you. So, this is very simplified. You can make your own gym plan. Everyone can do this. Like, I'm not this aspirate. I'm literally not an aspirate. I consider myself just above a beginner when it comes to fitness. Like, I'm not even kidding you. And everyone can do this. I am not an expert at all. So, if you make a jump plan, you have to be consistent. Like, you don't expect to see results straight away. You have to be consistent with it. And also, you make sure you change your plan. I'll probably make another video about um, a different type of split. You have to change your plan, which um, basically you have to have more variation in terms of your exercises. You, sh you cannot be doing these exercises or only these exercises and be expecting better results. So you have to be changing them up. Um, there's a lot of exercises, as I said, there's a lot, there's a lot of exercises. So, you know, you have to have your variation, you have to change your plan. Otherwise, if you don't change your plan, you stick it to one plan, you're just gonna get bored of it. You're literally gonna get bored of it. So, what I'd say is, be consistent with it. Make your own gym plan, make it specific to you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and um, thank you for watching.